Hello and welcome back everyone. So today we are going to discuss about uh, connections in SAP data sphere. So why connection is important and uh, what what all different kind of sources uh, are supported uh, in SAP data sphere and how you can um, leverage the remote functionality or like a real time access of the external system as well as you can replicate the data to your SAP data sphere as, as per your requirement. So moving to what are connections. So connection are basically uh, which provides access to the data from wide range of sources. Uh, your sources can be a cloud or on-premise sources. It can be a SAP or non-SAP sources or maybe a partner tool as well. Uh, you can see spaces you are a member of in the space overview. So as we have already discussed about spaces, so whichever spaces you will uh, have the access, you will be able to uh, have the space overview. And there you will ha have create, edit, delete and validate local connections options where you can uh, maintain your connections. And then you have a pause and restart connection with real time replication. So these kind of uh, 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 these kind of functionalities you will get uh, to um, pause or restart your connections. And then you also have an option to integrate open connectors and connect to supported third party data sources. So there will be also an option to connect to a third party data source. OK. So this this shows a connection overview, like what all kind of uh, connections as of now, as per the latest release are supported by SAP Data Sphere. So you can see that we have a lot of SAP applications which are supported to directly connect with SAP Data Sphere. Then we have a databases and generic connections which have Oracle, Microsoft SQL servers, generic O data and all. Then we have hyperscaler and cloud applications. And then we have external tool supports. So wide variety of uh, sources are supported both from the cloud as well as the on-premise and uh, um, and you can also configure like uh, how you uh, with a few of the third party tool in case um, um, anything um, is not as a standard connector provided in um, SAP data sphere then you can also use API O data to connect to your uh, source and uh, replicate your data to SAP data sphere. Okay, so virtual data access. Uh, we also need to discuss about what is virtual data access. So virtual access using remote tables, uh, which points to the table in external system. So you can uh, you have an option to create a remote table in SAP Data Sphere, and without replicating or leveraging your storage in Data Sphere, you will be able to uh, access the data. Um, and use it for the visualization or reporting or um, analysis purpose so without replicating the data so access remote data as if it were stored in local table so same so you can access the data uh, as uh, it is stored in the local table remote table access data without copying the data so basically we are not copying any data from external sources uh, to our SAP data sphere, we uh, will just create a remote table and whenever we will execute a query, uh, the data will flow from um, uh, from our external table to our reports. Data is transferred through network each time a query is executed. Yeah? And then we have restrict data uh, transfer using central filters and selected columns only. So we can, we also have an option to uh, restrict um, so is, if suppose there are 50 columns, we can restrict uh, to only specific columns which we need and also we can provide the filter like if we, uh, if our uh, table in the source has around 10 years of the data but we are mostly interested in past 3 years of the data, then we, we can restrict it with those uh, year filters or any uh, similar kind of a filter for a, a specific company code or whatever analysis you want to perform. So that kind of filtration is also possible. Then seamless switching between remote access and data replication or snapshots without need to change the data model. So when you create a data model in SAP data sphere and suppose you started with as a remote access. 
now later on um, due to some reasons or some uh, performance issue or anything you want to due to some business reasons you want to change the behavior of the data access mode and you want to change it from remote access to data replication or a snapshot so that that also can be done by changing the configuration and you do not need to create a new model so in the existing model you can just simply change the setting and it will change from remote access to data replication so what are the data access modes uh, available in sap data sphere uh, for the remote table uh, so it is a replicated data uh, replicated snapshot so this is a mode of data access where the full set of data from the source is copied to the sap data sphere and stored in a replica table so it is a kind of import we are importing the data from our sources uh, to our sap data sphere then we have replicated real time snapshot so this is a mode of data access where the data changes from source are replicated to data sphere in real time via change data capture okay so this is a mode of data access where the data changes from the source so whatever changes are being uh, done uh, at the source that those changes will be replicated to your sap data sphere in real time via change data capture which is also known as cdc so that is why it is known as replicated real time snapshot so you will al already have a data uh, which will in the snapshot and it also provides if so uh, so let's suppose you have a data uh, a refresh of like on a daily basis okay daily on a daily basis let's suppose uh, 8 am in the morning now if user is accessing a report at 10 am or 11 am so that means if any data is posted after 8 am is not being replicated through normal scheduled jobs so those changes so those changes will uh, also come if the data mode or data access mode is replicated real time snapshot because apart from the replicated data it also provides the data capture change data capture via real time so that is that is where this mode is very useful in case uh, the data volume is huge so and uh, using a complete remote table is um, having uh, might will not be the uh, best practice but having some uh, uh, data already replicated and then the change or which is the cdc as the real time will help in those scenarios then the third data access mode is remote so this is a mode of data access where the data is not replicated and is accessed by a federation each time from the source table so whenever we will run any query so none of the data will be stored in data sphere so whenever we will run a query it will request the specific data from the source and the data will be um, uh, data will be um, uh, transmitted to to the query through network so none none of the storage will be used or no data will be stored in uh, sap data sphere if the mode is remote access Okay. then if you want to change the access mode uh, what what you need to do so you can switch uh, from the remote access to the snapshot or real time replication for cdc enabled table so you can do you can switch between uh, different modes uh, without change uh, without uh, creating a new model you can uh, use your existing model and you can change the data access mode then you can schedule a snapshot loading for remote tables so you can schedule the timing when you want to uh, load your data or what will be the frequency of your data loads then you can create a partition for snapshot and a real time replication to split larger data transfer and execute these single transactions in parallel so you can also uh, create a partition for snapshot okay so what will be what will come under snapshot and what data will come under real time replication okay 
so these uh, uh, this thing we will see in the demo in the later session because this session is only related to the uh, connections uh, but how we will create a remote table and how we can change the modes or what will be the business scenarios that we will see in the session where we will be creating the remote tables then we also have an ability to start and stop or pause and resume or cancel the real time replication so these all options we get whenever we have um, when whenever we are working with um, a remote tables okay so this is it uh, for uh, for this we can move to the demo session and we will see like what all options are available and how we can create a new connection okay so we will move to demo now okay so we are in a space and in any space whenever you scroll down you will see a section for connections so there are two ways to go to the connection one is through the data sphere menu here you will have the connection option through which you can uh, go to the connection screen or you can go to the uh, space management and then go to the connection here so you can click on the connection and then the connection screen will open so you will be able to see all the connections those are available to you so these are the local connections that you have then you have an option to integrate your sap uh, open connectors account and then you also have an um, list of um, like whatever what all uh, local connections you have what are the type of those connections who is the owner of those connections when it was created and this is the real-time replication status whether it is active or not so if any real-time repl uh, replication um, is configured then it will show as an active one okay now we will see how we can create a new connection uh, in our um, uh, in our space data sphere space so in the connections we have an option to uh, also validate our connection so we can select our connection <clears throat> and uh, click on uh, validate option uh, to uh, to check the validation we can also uh, click on the create button to create our connection and here you can see there are several options uh, also the filter option and then uh, as far as sap hana there are like available features which you want to choose for your available connections so there are um, these are the list of connections that you will get and you will uh, open to create a new connection so here i am creating a new sap hana connection then you have a category option where you can select cloud or on premise then you can put your host information so for example if i want to uh, create connection with on premise we can select on premise and then uh, we can put the host details uh, port details and then then the security level apps um, access like true or false and then we can provide our username and password for the source system that we are connecting to uh, then if we want a data provisional option we can select the agent and then we can select the respective agent through which you want to connect and this is very simple this is how you can configure um, your connections in sap data sphere so uh, similarly you can create connections uh, with other sources as well uh, by providing the respective information so this was it for today hope you um, like the content uh, regarding the connections in sap data sphere uh, if you like the content and if you want to learn more about sap data sphere please subscribe to my channel if you have any questions or concerns please uh, put your feedback or questions in the comment section thank you so much and have a nice day bye bye